Welcome to the DB Man Show. Today I'll be discussing with you a very useful skill to have in your repertoire, and that will be how to tie a bow tie. Now, the reason why I say everyone should know how to tie their own bow tie, tie their own necktie, and hold their own pocket squares is because it shows that you put in work and cared enough to learn how to tie your own bow tie, to learn how to hold your own pocket squares, and to learn how to tie a necktie. And to be honest, clip-ons are for children. This is the main show. Now a little bit of backstory on why I wanted to make this video. Me and one of my buddies had to go to this event where we had to tie our own bow ties. And after I finished tying my bow tie, I asked him if he needed help because I know he doesn't know how to tie his bow tie. This is how this played out. All right, perfect. Oh, hey Billy, you need help with your bow tie? I don't know how to tie a bow tie. I'll just use a cleave on instead. I'll be showing you a couple different ways on how to tie a bow tie to give it some different variety in size differences. The first way that I will show you to tie a bow tie is the way I use it most of the time because it's the simplest way and it still looks dapper. We'll call the right side of your bow tie side A and the left side side B. You want side A to be slightly longer than side B, not by much, just about an inch or an inch and a half. And you take side A, place it over side B like so. Then you will take side A and bring it under the loop, pull it out, and you tie it tight. I don't want the bow tie to be too tight because you will need to breathe. So a general rule of thumb is you should be able to stick two fingers in your collar and breathe comfortably for both the collar and the neck wear to be the proper tightness. Then you take side B and you make the bow shape like this. Then you take side A, bring it over side B through the center, leaving it flat. Then you make the bow shape with side A, and there should be a loop that you can find in the back of the bow tie. Then after that, you take side A and pull it through. Now this can be a time consuming process, so I am going to speed through this while you guys attempt to tie this on your own. You'll have to loosen it and tighten it multiple times to get it proper size. All right, after your bow tie is tied, it should have a decent amount of tightness where it's not gonna untie when you're walking. It's gonna have two layers. One layer where you pull on to tighten it, and one layer that you pull on to loosen it. You wanna try to align those the best you can, but Winston Churchill had his bow tie slightly um, lopsided to show that it was tied and he didn't have a clip on. So it, you can get away with it, but it always looks best if it is aligned. After you align it, you're gonna to wanna to pop the collar down Make sure it is flat and the bow tie is on top of the lapels, not under. As you can see, it has a decent size and it's not too tight. The second way I'll be showing you to tie bow tie is a lot like the first, but instead of leaving the center um, flat, it will be twisted to give it a bit of variety and uniqueness. You want to start out like how I did before. The only difference is the second step of tying your bow tie, which is forming the bow shape. So like so, take the right side and the left side. Make the right side slightly longer than the left. Again, the right will be called side A, and the left will be called side B. For the remainder of this video, the right will be side A, and the left will be side B. Take side A, put it over side B, pull through the loop, tie it nice and tight. And now the difference between the 
majority of tying the bow tie in this way, tying the bow tie. When you make the bow shape to side B and pull side A over, instead of laying it flat and tying it like before, you will twist it around once or twice. It's your preference. I usually do it once. Then, like all the other times of tying a bow tie, you take side A, make a bow shape, pull it through the loop, and find the perfect size. how it will always be when finishing neckwear you will pop the collar down trying to make sure it covers the back of the bow tie or necktie and trying to make sure it looks flat and again you want the bow tie to be on the outside of the lapels not inside that way you could actually see the bow tie then, you adjust to make sure that it's aligned the best you can, and then you head out the door. It is a lot like how it was before. The only difference is that it is twisted just a little bit to give it some variety. <laughs> make sure if you like this video, you like, comment, and subscribe to this video. Make sure if there's someone that you know that doesn't know how to tie a bow tie, share this video with them. <laughs>